is AJ from the Warriors Project, and I'm here with Brandon Duplinski from uh, uh, Lethal Affections Ministry, which I believe is in West Virginia. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about what you got going on down there and what you're seeing as far as this, uh, this epidemic we're facing. Uh, right now, you got people dying left and right. Um, people that are strung out to the point of uh, almost what they believe to be no return. There's no help, there's no options, and so for them, they're looking at it as uh, an endless road. It's going to result in jail or death. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about yourself. You're a pastor? Yeah, I'm a pastor now, but I wasn't always saved. <laughs> uh, I was probably one of the most voracious drug addicts you've probably ever met. Oh, yeah, had big teeth? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it ate up everything you came across. Yeah. Everything. I mean, it, it, I robbed grandma off my head, too. You know, it was bad. Um, and then I'm shocked. Yeah, and I mean, like I ran with a bunch of guys that didn't help the matter at none. Um, and then so I went from, from running a massive amount of drugs to, to consuming a massive amount of drugs. One thing led to another. Um, started to do the most insane things imaginable and landed in prison for six years. Oh, geez. So it was, uh, it was a pretty bumpy ride. Prison saved my life. That's where I got saved and that's where I got this new mission. That's where I got the new vision and mission uh, for lethal affection. All right, so tell us about lethal affection. Lethal affection, lethal affection at the base of it means uh, deadly love. It's loving the things that kill us. And I mean, it goes down to the, 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 the family man or the soccer mom who lives life thinking that I do pretty good and I try to be good and I try to help people and God's a loving, forgiving God, he'll let me in heaven. And that's a silent love, you know what I mean? Thinking that because you do well, you're going to get saved and get in heaven. So that's a form of it, but it goes all the way down to the, the person who's loving heroin. And it's essentially, it's a love affair, you know? It's the person who's willing to do anything for that drug over anybody. And so it goes from one extreme to the other. And the idea, the central idea is to get everyone to meet Jesus. Well, that's, that's, that's definitely what the Word of God is all about. Yeah. It's like passing it on. Yeah. Right, so tell me, you just told me a, 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 a heartbreaking story of a, a couple. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's hear that. Um, we got these opportunities for scholarships. Um, we get one guy in, and he's actually down in Florida now. But there's another fellow that called me that I know well. He's homeless. Uh, entire family's on uh, heroin or on something. He calls that I need help. We set him up with a scholarship. He gets right back to me and says, my girlfriend, she's struggling. She has three kids. She needs help. So I didn't even have time to almost hit the numbers on the phone when I got down to figuring her out. He calls me back and said, there's an emergency. And I said, what's the matter? He said, she just OD'd and died. And uh, it was right whenever she was like, just starting to figure out, hey, you know what? I need to try to get help for myself. That is how bad it's out Yeah. How, how are you in the city? What city are you in there? We're 25 minutes, half hour, maybe from downtown Pittsburgh, and then there's Sudville, Ohio, there's Willing, West Virginia, there's Washington, PA, there's Greensburg, and right now, um, they just broke all the records in Pennsylvania for like the Greensburg, Washington area for overdose deaths. Yeah. Yeah, they just broke every record in the state. It's getting bad. Even worse than Philadelphia. It's that bad. So what's your vision for the future? Where do you see this fight going? The next step for us in Lethal Affection is to build a church. Um, that's what we're looking to do. Whether we buy the facility and build a church or we build the whole thing from the building from the building up. Um, but we want to do it to where um, we're able to house people. We're able to bring people in and make it like a refuge center. Um, and also a mission center so that we're not receiving but we're also going. Um, to be able to get people into all the detox and treatment centers because there's a lot of solutions out there but there's not a lot of answers you know and so like we know what works we know what it is that has to be done so the idea now is to be able to create the funding to be able to get this facility so that we can have the meetings and the services and the treatments and the, and the aftercare plans and everything happening and uh, get the relationship with Jesus solidified so that they can get going uh, but the idea being is that we're trying to get we're trying to be that hope we're trying to be that bright light in this very dark place so that people will come you know? it's so interesting how now, in the last eight months, being involved in the Warriors Project, I, uh, I started seeing this community grow, this recovery community. Yeah. And a lot of them are coming back, to, you know, coming out of the out of the meetings uh, and coming into the forefront, giving up anonymity 
to get on with yeah. this fight. Yeah. Um, I see these organizations that keep coming up, like the uh, Elite Protection, like Fuck Parents uh, uh, Foundation, um, and the Warriors Project. There's just so many that are starting to come together, and I start seeing this gap being filled that our state agencies yeah. and our government can't fill. Right. So the, the heroin epidemic has just started to come to the forefront in, 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 in like on the news and in our mainstream media. So you know, it's the president, he's talked about it. Both of the uh, the candidates in the election talked about it. Our governors like Rob Parkman or Rob Portman are talking about it. He's been talking about it for a while, but it's starting to come out in the front. Yeah. But it is, it's, it's the grassroots people like you, like the Warriors Project, like the Foundation, yeah. like the, the Michael Pax. Yeah, yeah. And the Michael Pax and uh, Nicole over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. You know, I think it's with, with the government agencies, the state agencies. They, they they have answers. But I think what they need to really look at is to be able to have the wisdom to be humble enough to know that like I need to take my opportunity of resources and funding and, and put it behind these guys. Because they you know the, like I said it's it's a humble thing to where like don't try to be the hero. You know, and you get behind what's already working. Yeah, you know, that, that's a big thing that we're trying to do too. All right, good. Well thank you very yeah. much for your time. Thank you. Amazing little conversation we had everybody.